What's up everybody, this is Anthony Cordova from Cordova Speed and Custom and we are back. We took a little break from the YouTube channel but we're back. We got some new uh, first person uh, action camera equipment so yeah. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll keep it short and sweet man. We. I'm happy to be back and I hope you guys all like it. Like I said, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to smash the like button. Also smash on that little bell right there so you can guys you guys can keep updated. I am going to attempt to do a video once a week or fuck that. We're going to do a video once a week and you guys can hold me accountable. How does that sound? Without any further ado, you guys um we're going to get to it. I got a little uh, project that I was working on this last week and I made a video on it. Hope you like it. So here we go. So what I'm doing right now, um, I'm just cre hammering the big creases out. I got a dolly underneath, a metal, you know, a big metal shoe, um, shoe shaped dolly, I guess you could say. Um, so right here, I'm just hammering the big creases out, trying to get the big dents out. I flipped it over, same side, um, but I'm going to hammer from the bottom. That technique right there is called on hammer dolling, when you hit the hammer directly over the dolly or like kind of trying to iron iron out those creases. And then I do a little off hammer dolling, which is like when you have a dent and you're trying to push it up from the inside, you hold the dolly like on the side, I guess. Well. Yeah, it's on the side basically. You, you hold the dolly and then right at, right at the edge you hammer and that's off hammer dolly and that kind of brings a dent up from the inside. So if you're holding the dolly on there. So now right here I'm just um, hammering that, that uh, crease back into or that the shape back into it and we got on the floor. We're using a little 2x4 action. And then it, this thing's got a got a beveled edge on it, so I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just straightening out that edge right there. This thing also had a crease in the front, so now I'm getting the heavier part of this dent out with a a flat pick, um, little curve there, and that same shoe dolly. I'm paying special attention to the bigger dents or creases and ho just holding that right in that right in that groove right there where that where that lip sat or where that beveled edge I should say um, so right here I'm just using the dolly same thing kind of just ironing out that edge I flipped it over and I'm, I'm gonna hammer out the rest of that crease from the top yeah so right here I have the dolly and that's off hammer you can see and I got a hammer the same kind of shape as the edge of that of that um, that balance and I'm doing some more off hammer but what I'm trying to do is get that edge to come up it's kind of just if you can see it's kind of like go like kind of shooting down in a curve like kind of in a curve I'm just kind of hitting some random areas that are probably low right there. Then I switch hammers. I got that that flat pick, and those those will get the little kind of uh, thinner creases out. I guess you could say not so wide. And then I switch hammers again. I'm using like a door. These are called like door skin hammers, but I got this door skin hammer, and I'm hitting right on that on that crease to get the rest of that out. I'm getting that tear folded back or hammered back so I can weld it later using that same dolly I think I, I don't think I switched dollies in this one at all maybe once I think so now I'm just kind of like hammering out that edge getting that that edge nice and nice and shaped right there Right here, I've hammered so much that um, if you see where my finger is right there, it's kind of doing the tin cam thing. So what you do in this case is, um, 
I didn't want to break out the big torch because there wasn't this thing's pretty strong so these old 50s cars they, they can take a lot of a lot of pounding so anyways um, yeah I just broke out the little torch and then um, heat heat up heat it up I kind of go on a little circular motion to kind of concentrate the flame then I just get my water that I'm supposed to be drinking for the day and then just like splash them on there to heat that up and what that does is kind of change the structure of the metal it kind of sucks everything back in so now we're on the other side here that's where I hammered out that one little section on the ground and I'm kind of going with the pick and just kind of like getting the littler the little high spots when you hammer on these with the sledgehammer it's gonna leave little like dents like facing up I guess you could say so what I do then you go back and hit it with the little pick hammer this side same thing I've got it so kind of it's just lost its shape so here now we're just doing the same thing on the other side with the heat and this shit can be affordable if you want to like um, take the time to do it yourself this stuff's pretty it's not that hard it's just time consuming anybody out there um, I'm gonna keep doing videos so hopefully you guys can get some value from this so now it's hot I'm still and I got the waffle that that hammer right there you can't really I kind of show it real quick but it's got a waffle shape on the front and what that does is kind of help the uh, the sheet metal um, shrink basically so I just get a wash mitt that I had laying around Took care of that, nice and strong. Now I can hammer on it a little bit more. Same thing. I'm using the the off off. Uh, that's kind of that's pretty low right there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if I remember right, that was low. So I'm kind of trying to bring that back up. See now I got the hammer, the dolly on the low part, and I'm trying to hammer around so it kind of brings that. What it'll do is it'll bring that metal up from where the dolly's at. And it's still a little flimsy, but it'll take some some filler. Oh no, maybe not. I'm still gonna hammer some more. Now I'm just kind of ironing out everything um, with that and that that like I said, that's a shrinking hammer, so that that kind of helps out a little bit. Now I'm just checking it, making sure it's still holding its shape. kind of got everything everything's pretty I mean I got it in somewhat of a shape I guess you could say at this point so yeah I'm tired I guess of hitting on it now I got I mean I, I hammered on it for a little bit longer but um so now what you do with with this um, I, I I don't know what happened to the video of me welding on this thing but um, I welded all the cracks up and now I'm just going around I cleaned up all the the welds on the um, the parts that were like ripped or whatever or torn but now I'm just um, kind of shaping uh, the way I'm running the the sander it's got, I got some 36 grit um, sandpaper on there and I'm just kind of running it over the top making trying to make somewhat of a shape and those little dark spots is like where the little dents are still at so you can I mean you can hammer on this thing till the cows come home I guess you could say and um, you know get all those little little dents out but I mean at this point you know for for what this guy's looking for um, you know I just uh, probably put some filler on it I'll probably hammer on it a little bit more because this kind of identifies where all the low spots are at at this point So now I'm just in that groove trying to trying to shape all that in there and then the, the grinder's gonna slip off and so, so I'm just shaping it keep keep shaping it you can see right there where the kind of the low spot in the front was I 
I actually hammered on this for uh, after this for a while longer, but um, to get some of those other lower areas out. But I figured, you know, you guys seen seen the gist of it. What you know, how how the technique, I guess you could say. Now I go into like slow mo right there. Oh shit. see right there there's like the way that shiny spot in the front's at there's still kind of a dent right there so I'll go back and hammer that out I don't know what's going on with the speed of this right here real quick but hopefully it's getting a little excessive get the idea we're we're sanding our life away here shaping that thing all out I probably could have edited some of this stuff out but anyway we, we're doing it make sure you get all in the corners and edges and grooves and getting this thing ready for some filler and anywhere that 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 filler uh doesn't um you know it's not it's not sanded or there's not some nice scratches in there that filler's gonna want to flake off so make sure you get that thing all all sanded nice where you're gonna you know apply it all right finally with the filler here we go Technical difficulties with the cap. I don't know what's going on with myself, with me. So, um, I, I did a video on filler. I'm going to try to uh, link, put the link to it in the description, um, or maybe link it in the video when I when I edit that. But anyway, um, yeah, we're just make sure you mix. We're trying to get all the air bubbles out of it so we're just kind of like mixing it flat we're not you know don't do the stir motion and make sure you get all that color out of the uh the hardener which is that blue that blue tube that i put in there that's the uh, that's the activator so make sure that stuff um the dye in it will can come back later and haunt you if you if you don't mix it properly so make sure you get that it's so here we go i'm gonna work pretty quick here um i'm gonna get that edge built up you can see it's nice and flat. I went back and hammered a bunch of more of those dents out. So, um, yeah, we're covering that, that heavier, heavier stuff first. Um, that center area right there was, was a little low. That, that Well, that edge, I wanted to kind of make... The, the idea is to get the, get the edge built up in the front so you can kind of get a nice, nice square edge on that. So yeah, just kind of filling the big areas, trying to trying to make a square there in the front. Then I'm gonna get the rest of this side right here. I got a little uh, little close up uh, later of uh, of how I get that edge kind of built up after a while. So yeah, now I now I just run. Uh, a long stroke over the front of that thing try to kind of get you know you kind of want to make it uniform from the start even though you are only filling a small section do yourself a favor before this thing dries completely um, do the touch test when it's not sticky anymore and gets kind of hard but not completely hard get a razor that's a that's just a razor knife um, I'm just digging out the holes I looked under the other side because the one hole is completely filled that's why I flipped it over real quick do the edges and then, yeah, it got hard on me, so here we go with some 40 grit right here. 
Uh, before your grit's falling off. I'm already cussing by this point. Yeah, so um so what I'm doing is just trying to shape that shape that edge while it's still soft right now. I mean the the, the filler's still uh, you know it was pretty hot that day, but um but the filler's still kind of soft at this point. So I'm kind of just you know getting a a basic shape going right here. So now I got the I got this the uh, the machine sander the DA dual action sander I guess if you want the long name for it you get all technical and shit. So what I'm doing here is just I got some 40 on there I'm just kind of uh, smoothing out that that edge you know so I can blend into it and and you know making a making a basic shape you can get a good shape with these um with these sanders you can't be afraid of these things you gotta just let the machine do the work. And you know, just run it, just run that shit. Now I got it in the groove right there. I'm just going, I got it in the groove. You gotta get it in the groove, man. Just kind of hitting the, I'll, I periodically stop and um, basically fill over it. When you, when you run your hand across this thing, you can feel the, the waves or the, or the, you know, the imperfections. Right there, I'm feeling, see those two, those are metal coming through right there. So what I'm doing now is I'm getting my dollar, my dolly, hammer and dolly, and I am, I've got the pick, and I'm, and I'm picking the, like, kind of just picking those down. So that I can, um, put some more filler in them after. Not too much, I mean, I'm just doing it so you're not feeling a high spot there. That one's getting some love right there too. You can peck on these things, man, for forever to, if you want to. You can just keep picking at them and but, you know, there's a point when you kind of say, fill it and see what comes up. So right here, this is the uh, second coat and we are there was some low spots, you know, where like the filler didn't completely fill in. So now we're getting that edge again, building that up a little bit more. I kind of wonder if this shit's like, you know, making a cake or something. I don't know. I never made a cake, but I mean, just like chocolate cakes, I guess, like with my daughter or whatever, but not like no extravagant shit, you know? But yeah, like just keep you know caking it on. I guess you could say. No, you don't want to. The the cleaner you want, the cleaner the the filler, the easier it is to sand. So really, you want to like try to shape it as best as possible at this point. So yeah, I'm, I'm in there. I'm doing the um, I'm doing that edge or the spots that I missed. Getting those uh, those spots that I hammered down as well. I'm gonna try to. I think this one is the one that I uh, try to fill the whole thing or get the rest of it filled. Yeah, kind of, it, this day, it was kind of hot this day, so I was running out of time, so I kind of had to move fast. Okay, yeah, I'm doing the getting the other side, the heavy fill done on the other side. This thing had some damage on it. Um, probably could have. Uh, oh, here we are with the close up right here. Bam! Check that out. A little slow motion. I got a little, little air bubble in the middle there. In the middle of the screen. Oh, feel that. 
That's how you. That's how you do the edge. That's what I was trying to show right here. Is how do you do? How you do the edge? You pull that. Pull that edge, and then just pull it over the top. See, I'm pulling it back. Pull it back right there. Bam. Back. Nice and smooth. Now I'm just hitting that edge. I got everything kind of filled at this point. I think I probably went over this thing maybe three or four times before I got it all filled completely where I wanted it, where it was nice. So yeah, just I got the longer block with uh, some 80 on it now. I'm just kind of going around that edge. Everything's nice and flat. I already machine sanded this whole thing. Um, I will do a, a once over with the uh, with the block on the actual filler, but you can get it pretty straight with the machine, or at least I can. So here we go with the the machine. Now what I'm doing here, you got to prep all that all that um, old paint or whatever that's around it this thing um, is just getting a little primer job that you can't see where those holes are that's where the grill bolts to where I'm like digging that out right there don't forget to go around with your uh, your round file and uh, get the rest of that filler out of there so now what I'm doing is I got a sheet or a piece of 180 grit sandpaper and I'm just kind of going over the whole thing and getting getting most of the 80 grit scratches out also you can see I'm kind of just um, giving it longer strokes trying to um, kind of even everything out from side to side staying away from the um, those metal areas those are those um, areas that I had picked down earlier with the uh, the pick hammer Making that front edge we're nice and nice and square. I'll also go around by hand and kind of like um, you don't want this thing super super square. Just kind of by hand and, and go over the edge on that front edge so it looks kind of natural. Going over the higher the where the high spots were. Um, if you feel where that metal's coming through, if you feel that um, sticking up, you're you're gonna have to uh, like pick the pick it down a little bit more and just run another coat that. On this thing, it was good. You you can see it, but you couldn't feel it. It was kind of like blended in. I, I still, nevertheless, I stay away from those areas when I'm sanding this final. That's it. That's the final final, and this is it right here. Just um, for this, we got some fill primer, like some that's a, some direct to metal urethane stuff. So yeah, that was the video, man. I hope you guys liked it. Um, like I said, we are going to be dropping a video once a week. We got some fun projects coming up. We're going to get to the we're going to go through the basics first. Um, I got a another little video that I'm working on right now. I'm painting some some stuff, prepping and painting, and we have some lowrider graphics coming up very soon. So stay tuned. Um, got a couple of riders we're doing right now. Um, I also have some other miscellaneous stuff on a car that I'm building for a friend. So yeah, stay tuned. Like I said before, do not forget to subscribe and smash the like and, and then little bell notification for notifications. So when I post, you can check it out, man. I'll teach you some shit if you just stick around. All right. I hope you love it. Um, that's it, man. Talk to you soon. Peace.